Yo ho, what it is, YouTube? It's Mon Nation here, here to bring you a review onto the new Bullet Store. For those that might be wondering about my new intros at the beginning of my videos, I decided that I would announce TNS, the other clan that I'm in, it's called Top Notch Snipers. And also, lately I got a, um, I got sponsored by Pro Mods. I highly believe in their controllers. If you need one, definitely go to Pro Mods. If you don't trust me, if I'm not like that kind of guy that you could trust, go on their go on their videos. I guarantee that what you find there you will like. But anyways, to the review. Now, Bulletstorm. This is Bulletstorm. This is hell awesome. Now, basically, Bulletstorm is about you're a mercenary. You're trying to escape from all the bounty hunters that want to get your bounty, like a billion dollars in the future. But anyways, you're trying to rack up the most points. I'm playing multiplayer right now. Basically, the whip has a mind of its own, and it grades you on your, um, what's it called? On your performance. So I'm just, I just wanted to give a review because I've been waiting for this game for a long ass time. So, I just got a vertigo right there. That's basically where you just throw, uh, kick someone or shoot them off of a side of a out of the map. This is hella awesome. Sorry if I feel, if I seem a little bit unprofessional in this video. I have been really excited for this game and I have been playing it like crazy for the past couple of days so sorry if I wasn't able to get this out the first day. I was planning on doing it and now I was just like no I don't want to quit. So but anyways here it is. I got a game recorded and I'm just doing this now. Basically at the end of the round it says to get a certain skill point, double penetration, that's where two people shoot the same guy at the same exact time. And then at the end of the round it typically ranks you up, it gives you points based on your performance. And then there, yeah, I believe the highest level you can get to is 65. And then each level you get, you can customize your guy. Now, I believe it's coming up here really soon. Uh, at the end of the round, then you could buy certain weapons that will improve your performance. I want to go with the shotgun. That's what I usually do. And the thumper. The thumper is basically where you throw your leash out and then you hold it and then it whips the, the leash and then it throws all the guys up into the air it's hell awesome but anyways as you can see I'm like already level 15 and I'm playing with two level 30s right here then my peeps you know but anyways so now I'll just leave you with the rest of the gameplay so you can watch and I'll be back in a minute or so Okay, I'm back here, and basically we're just rewarding for the end of the round, and now I'm going to pay for that shotgun, I believe, right here. <clears throat> Smoke while you got em, boys. Things drops down. I believe I'm able to pay for it. There it is. Now I'm just paying for full ammo. The shotgun is beast, I'm not going to lie. A four barrel shotgun. Now how many games have you seen a four barrel shotgun in? That shit is awesome. There's a whole bunch of a whole bunch of interesting weapons that you have not seen in any other game. They got really creative in this. 
and they expect you to get really creative with the weapons that they give you with skill points. So this is hella awesome. I don't know what game is better, honestly. This is one of the games that I was really expecting on getting this year, along with Gears of War 3 and the Call of Duty Killer uh, that Respawn Entertainment is making and the um, Project Beachhead. No, yeah, the next year I'm getting Project Beachhead and also one on for 3. Oh yeah, and all future soldiers. There's a lot of games coming out this year. I'm waiting for E3. The E3 will be awesome this year. But anyways, um, probably gonna make an update video after this. Um, the game's probably gonna end here in a second. There it is. And now I'll just show you a couple of features that are also in the game that I think are just awesome. I wasn't expecting this. I was buying the game just expecting... I wasn't even expecting a multiplayer really with this game. I was expecting a good campaign that I was going to be able to get a lot of skill points with. I wasn't going to. I wasn't expecting to be able to play with my friends. So I think that's really cool. And added on to that, you get levels and you get unlockables. So I thought that was awesome. They did it also. The in-game currency. But anyways, the leaderboards right there and the stats. They keep track of all your stats, how many skill points you got, and how many kills and deaths. I don't think deaths actually. You can't really die. I don't think. How many revives you can revive the people? That's why I'm saying you can't really die. I don't know how you would. Maybe jump off. No, you can't jump. But anyways, uh, yeah, here's all the skill points and everything. It keeps track of everything for you. And I don't know what I was doing right here. Okay, um, what is that? Customizations, this is what I'm talking about. These are the unlockables that you get. Those are the gun customizations right there. This is so awesome. These are all the, um, helmet. I only unlocked three. There was like 20 or some shit like that. It goes all the way up to like level 64. I was thinking dude, they don't make a level 64 game. It must at least be a level 65. It may even go higher than that. I don't know. It seems like they have um, DLC that you can buy optionally. I'm not going to pay for DLC since I'm going to pay for a lot of games this year. But I'm just telling you guys in case you guys are wondering. Those are the boots and stuff. Basically it just changes the colors. It doesn't add any extra thing into the game that I can see. It's all cosmetic. But anyways, there's your stance. Like when you do something good or when you win, then you have that stance that I'm showing right here. Um, what am I doing now? I'm sorry. I'm like have this thing open in Sony Vegas, and if you ever been in Sony Vegas, and you can barely even see the writing in Sony Vegas. Um, yeah, the guns again. We got helicon camos. Real men wear pink, bitches. <laughs> uh, now the maps. Hopefully, they'll come out with new maps. This is, they still have a lot of maps, and it'll keep you busy forever, because each map you can do different stuff onto that will get different skill points. But still. And another great, awesome feature with this game, if you go onto the main screen right under options, you see the Gears of War 3 beta under it. What I'm expecting is, since I put in a code and I wasn't sure whether it was unlocked with the code or not, I'm expecting that the pre-orders people will only get it ahead of time, and the real Gears of War 3 beta that will come out with every for everyone is coming out in April. I believe it's like April 14th or something like that. But anyways, this this will head up into that, and then they'll whatever they need. They want this to be a perfect game that'll release out in November. That's why they held it back for a year. But anyways, I give this game a good nine out of uh, a nine and a half out of ten. Anyways, these are this is like if you ever played Mono Warfare 2, it's like special ops. It's like you can place extra modes that you can rank up in and be onto the leaderboards with and earn achievements and a whole bunch of stuff and unlock more once you beat the ones that you already have. So awesome. And I'm just going through the uh, things that you can buy for this game. 
I actually, I was trying to search for that DLC. I couldn't find it, actually. It was it's, it's hidden somewhere. I don't know. Or it's not. It doesn't have the name DLC. I was thinking that was the online pass, but I had the online pass that I got when I pre-ordered. But anyways, this is... This is Bulletstorm. It's the game I've been waiting for for about... Three, five months now. So here it is, nine and a half out of ten. See you later.